All right, we're out here at the battlefield site for the Battle of Wilson's Creek, and we're right out here next to the, the Ray House. Actually, the Ray House, it served as a temporary field hospital for Confederate soldiers during Battle of Wilson's Creek. And Union General Nathaniel Lyon's body was placed in a bed at the house for examination. He was actually the first uh, Union general killed in the Civil War. He was killed, and during the Union uh, retreat, his body was left behind. It was actually at one point behind near, uh, set up by a tree. And so it was brought here to the house. And the, harm, the farmhouse itself, it was built around 1852. And uh, was occupied John Ray, his wife Roxanne, along with their nine children. And the house, it's the only original surviving dwelling from the time of the battle. He was not a participant, uh, Ray was not a participant of the battle, but he was a witness and had a front row seat. He actually sat on his porch and looked out from his porch and saw soldiers fighting in his cornfield and then on a bloody hill. His wife, children, and a slave, they were actually at the farmhouse shelter, uh, storm shelter in a cellar. And when they came out hours later, they found the house littered with wounded and dying Southerners. So that's kind of a little bit of what happened here, what the Ray House is, you know, what its significance is to this battle at, uh, of Wilson's Creek during the Civil War. kind of pan across here and see this area and you can kind of see um, this the area you can see now is where uh, General Sterling Price's headquarters would have been and where he would have led his troops from in that Civil War battle and the Battle of Wilson's Creek would have been in uh, August of 1861 and this one was actually a Confederate victory and one thing that's interesting about this is the significance for our area is that uh, George Bent actually fought at the Battle of Wilson's Creek as a Confederate and, uh, with Ster uh, Sterling Price. And so he was in this battle as a Confederate. And so he fought here. And so we can kind of see the area where they fought. We're here at Bloody Hill at the, the site of, over here at the Wilson's Creek Battle Site. And this is where a lot of the action and fighting took place during this uh, Battle of the Civil War. And over across the creek is where that cabin was, where we were just at a minute ago, where um, General Sterling Price had his headquarters and commanded his troops. That's just across the creek. All right, this marker that you can see here, this is marking, well, what they believe is close to the spot where uh, General Nathaniel Lyon uh, was killed in action here at the Battle of Wilson's Creek. He was the first general killed during the Civil War. 
and in fact, as you know, you know Fort Lyon um, was uh, renamed in his name um, after Nathaniel Lyon. It was originally Fort Wise, but after this uh, Union general was killed in the Civil War, they renamed Fort Wise to Fort Lyon. So it's kind of a little interesting thing here, and this is kind of showing the area where we he would have uh, fought in this battle and then uh, was killed at the Battle of Wilson's Creek. <laughs> 